Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Are you really an INFJ? Out of the groups of personality types, the two most similar and mistyped are INFJ and INTJ. They are both reserved, intuitive, goal-oriented, and big picture thinkers. However, the difference lies in how each personality type approaches the world. These are six signs you are not an INFJ personality type. Number one, you make decisions using impersonal logic. If you find that you prefer logic and objectivity when making choices, you might not be an INFJ. INFJs approach the world differently from thinking types because of their primary sensing. INFJs are more attuned to emotional nuances and sensibilities. They're prone to taking other people's feelings into consideration when making decisions. On the other hand, personality types with dominant thinking traits prefer to analyze and view things through logic and seek to understand how things work through systems, not abstract concepts. They're typically drawn to ideas like researchers or strategists. Some personality types that share this trait are INTJs, ISTPs, and INFPs. Though they are all introverts, they all have dominant thinking functions. Number two, you do not shy away from a challenge. Do you welcome criticism? If so, you most likely are not an INFJ. One weakness of INFJs is that they take criticism to heart. For some INFJs, conflict is distressing. Because INFJs are sensitive to other people's emotions, harsh words offend them easily, even if it is an offhanded remark. Number three, you love being surrounded by people. If you prefer large social settings, then you might not be an INFJ. This trait is typically associated with extroverted types. So chances are you might not be an INFJ. You could type as an extrovert or even an introvert with secondary extroversion sensing. One thing that INTJs and INFJs share is their nonconformity. Neither personality types accept social norms just because. As a child, they may have felt left out or like they didn't fit in. Neither are prone to small talk. INTJs tend to be blunt with their nonconformity, whereas INFJs are more prudent when navigating social norms they dislike. Number four, you're not super attracted to humanitarian jobs. Do you feel like your purpose in life is to help and assist others? If not, you probably are not an INFJ. Though most people, regardless of personality type, like to volunteer and help others, INFJs make it their life's mission to be of service. Like a true idealist, INFJs are concerned about doing something that betters the human condition. They want to help others. So it's natural for them to gravitate towards humanitarian causes. Their personality type allows them to shine in roles as activists or catalysts for social change. Some examples of famous INFJs are Martin Luther King Jr., Gandhi, Eleanor Roosevelt, and Florence Nightingale. Number five, you love to test theories in real life. Do you find yourself testing your hypothetical what ifs in real life? If so, you might not be an INFJ. You might be an extroverted intuitive type instead. Extroverted intuitive types love exploring and finding inspirations from the world around them. They are more focused on testing out their ideas in real time rather than speculating. Some personality types that share this trait are ENFPs, ENTPs, and INFPs. Number six. You're in tune with your own emotions and have no trouble voicing your emotional needs. Do you open up to others easily? If you do, then you might not be an INFJ. Because of the INFJ's nurturing nature, they often act as emotional support for others. They also have a tendency to be highly empathetic. However, they rarely voice their own emotional needs. Unfortunately, they can slip into the role of people pleasing and put their needs in the back seat. Mature INFJs learn how to diplomatically protect their needs while also being of service to others. If you find it easy to open up to other people, you might be a dominant extroverted feeling type. So did you relate to any of these signs? Are you an INFJ? Let us know in the comments below. Although having an INFJ personality type is coveted, all personality types come with strengths and weaknesses. The variety of personality types provide color to our interactions and relationships. There are many tests online that can help you determine your personality type, but remember that the Myers-Briggs exam is not a set classification of who you are. Feel free to share your personality type in the comments below. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.